Hello, welcome to Surrey TV. I'm Victoria Durant and this week we're at Thorpe Park. I'm so excited to get on some rides. based entrepreneur has launched a new website promoting businesses close to Surrey railway stations. Shortwalkfromthestation.com is a listing site of places to go, venues to eat and drink at, or locations for entertainment, all of which are only a short walk from a Surrey railway station. The site is looking to cover the whole rail network, but Surrey-based Dave Ridings wanted to start his journey in the county he lives in. This is a great opportunity to get involved at the beginning of a project that will just grow and grow. You can register your business or destination for free at shortwalkfromthestation.com or follow the company on Twitter by following at shortwalkfrom. Yes, I did say free, but I don't think it'll be that way for very long. Bill's Beauty Spa in Godalming has announced that their new online booking system has now gone live. After regular customers, many of whom travel to Godalming specifically to visit Zeal, asked for a way to book online in advance, James and the team at the Beauty Clinic added this new feature to the website last week. The booking system is easy to use and can be accessed from the homepage at zealgodalming.co.uk. Another confirmation for this month's Wings and Wheels show at Donsold Aerodrome. The world's only airworthy Canberra PR9 will be celebrating its 65th anniversary and displaying at Wings and Wheels for the first time on Saturday the 23rd and Sunday the 24th of August as part of the Mid-Air Squadron's air display. The Mid-Air Squadron's Canberra Air H-134 was the first jet bomber of its kind and has been restored with an authentic pink scheme which represents the markings worn when the type entered service. Visitors will get to view its all over silver paint scheme as it was back in the 1950s. It'll be another authentic look at history in the air. Jamie McAllister, event director, said we are thrilled to confirm the Canberra X. H134's participation at Wings on Wheels. It is the first time we've welcomed the jet to Dunsfold and we all look forward to the team demonstrating its phenomenal jet power to our visiting crowd. The harvest has come a little earlier this year due to the weather. The National Farmers Union Southeast have released a new sticker campaign to help with the issue of patience when motorists get caught behind a slow moving farm vehicle. The idea is to try and clarify why slow moving farm vehicles are on the roads during harvest time and encourage drivers to be patient. As part of its Back British Farming campaign, the NFU has created these large stickers for farm vehicles including trailers, tractors and combine harvesters. The vehicles are on the roads for a reason that benefits us all, so if you do get caught behind one of these vehicles, take a deep breath and try to understand why they're there and how it actually benefits you in the grand scheme of things. G-Live in Guildford has released dates and tickets for the new season of performances at the Art Centre in London Road. The list of entertainers, bands and shows is impressive. The venue told us that including names like John Glees, Imelda May, Noel Fielding, Dawn French and bands of the standing of Level 42, 10cc, Joan Armour Trading and Steve Hackett has created a lot of excitement in the building. G-Live also said that they're looking forward to having thousands of people come and visit for some great nights out. Nights that could also include a special dinner at the mezzanine restaurant in the building. A great way to start the evening. 
More information can be found at glive.co.uk. Click on the What's On tab for more details of this great season of entertainment. Guildford Cathedral Appeal has moved even closer to realising its first phase goal of £1.3 million as it announced a match-giving scheme for donations. An anonymous trust has agreed to match donations giving to the Cathedral Appeal up to a total of £45,000 in an exciting 11th hour development to help reach the £1.3 million target by the end of August deadline. Appeal Director Sean Newton said the Cathedral Appeal has reignited a tradition of philanthropy with more than 1,000 benefactors and hundreds more having sponsored and participated in appeal events. From past brick givers to those who have recently graduated here, we are so grateful to all those who have made their mark. This weekend offers fans of 60s and 70s rock a festival experience in Frimley. Rock the Night Away is an open air tribute to 60s and 70s music legends, including tributes to Jimi Hendrix, The Doors, and The Who. Pack a picnic, some low back chairs, and let Are You Experience, The Doors Alive, and The Hooligans entertain you through the evening at Frimley Lodge Live. The event begins at 4pm at Frimley Lodge Park, Sturt Road, Frimley. Tickets are available from CamberleyTheatre.biz and at the entrance in Sturt Road. But in a first for Surrey TV, we have two tickets available if you can tweet the answer to the following question to our at the Surrey TV Twitter account. We chatted with one of Jimi Hendrix's roadies on our 14th of February episode. What's the name of this roadie? Kickback Comedy returns to Guildford on Saturday the 9th of August. The Comedy Night has moved to the Boiler Room just off York Road, a short walk from the bus and rail station. This month's Night of Laughter kicks off 8pm and includes Nick Wilty, Paddy Lennox and Lara A. King. The Night is hosted by Deborah Jane Appleby. The new location offers more space, dinner options and a unique atmosphere that always brings the visitors back. There are tickets still available and they can be purchased at kickbackcomedy.com, the tourist office in the high street in Guildford or on the door on the night. A lot of people dressed in black lying in the grass at Newlands Corner last weekend. No, they weren't weirdos. They were fans of Guildford singer-songwriter Emma Stevens, who was filming a new video for her single Make My Day. The Surrey songstress career has gone from strength to strength and she is now on the Radio 2 playlist. Visit emmastevensmusic.com to hear the new sack single or tune in to Surrey Hills Radio at surreyhillsradio.co.uk and click the Listen Now button in the top left-hand corner. You'll hear Emma soon enough, especially if you listen to the Bubbly Breakfast Show with Dave and Andy. here Andy Walker the operations director for Thorpe Park Resort hello Andy hi how are you doing yeah really good thank you so much fun being here um, and this year it's a bit more family orientated is that right yeah it certainly is so you'll have noticed we've got uh, the additions of Angry Birds Land that we launched this year in May so we've got a fantastic 4D cinema that you can experience along with our Dodgems ride and our drop tower detonator so literally something for the whole family here along with obviously our top roller coasters and water rides that we've got as well Great stuff. And tell me about Summer Nights. 
Well, summer nights is something that we're doing after hours now. So from seven o'clock and through till ten, you can ride exclusively on our top six roller coasters, so our biggest and scariest rides, and you can do that without queuing at all. So you'll find that there are very few people here. It's a limited and exclusive event. Um, and if it's roller coasters that aren't your thing, you could always chill out on the beach, grab yourself a cocktail and sit with a barbecue. Or if it's a really warm night, and we are getting some this August, which is great, we've got Tidal Wave, which is one that gets you absolutely drenched wet, uh, and Storm Surge. So literally something for the whole family here at the resort. Amazing, that sounds so much fun. Thank you so much, Andy. No problem. Oh, the booking, the booking system is easy to use and can be accessed from the homepage at zealgoddling.co.uk. Zealgoddling.co.uk. We have to read prayer stories. Okay. Just in the last line. Three. The booking system is easy to use and can be accessed from the homepage at zealgoddling.co.uk. <laughs> zealgoddling.co.uk. Bye.